Employed. bring into our country. Now, there are things we call speaking rules in IELTS test. So let's get these rules that you need to understand in or during your speaking test. Mr. Shegu, can you hear me? Good morning. Okay. Now let's let's look at the rules of speaking test. Rule number one. Never give a short answer. Never give a short answer. That's rule number one. Rule number two. Keep speaking until the examiner asks you another question. Keep speaking or keep talking until the examiner asks you another question. Number three, never form an accent while speaking. Never form an accent, do not, never form an accent while speaking. Accent, A-C-C-E-N-T, A-C-C-E-N-T, accent. Never form an accent while speaking. Rule number four, always keep eye contact with the examiner while speaking. Always keep or maintain eye contact with the examiner. Always keep or maintain eye contact with the examiner while speaking. to speak audibly. Ensure to speak audibly. I can hear you. Okay, you mean when you were able to achieve all other factors very well, but due to upbringing, you are not comfortable looking at the examiner in the eyes while speaking. Whether it's going to affect what you are supposed to, whether it's going to affect your performance, right? Okay, um, it won't affect your performance absolutely. Right, but it's it's going to have an impact in their judgment or evaluation towards you because part of your proof or show of confidence is you keeping eye contact. It it shows that you are confident. It also shows that you are saying the truth. It also means you you mean what you are saying. That's when you keep eye contact. But you need to understand that the rule does not compare you to station or fix your eyes and examiner without looking away. No, that's not what it means. You can look rightward, look leftward, but do not look downward. Looking downward is negative. Do you understand this? Mm. 
All right, so just you would learn how to manage your eye contact when speaking to the examiner. Okay, so let's proceed. Next rule, that's rule number six, right? Do not rush to speak or respond to a question you have not clearly understood. Do not rush to begin to speak or respond to a question that you have not clearly understood. That's rule number six during your speaking test. Do not rush to speak or respond to a question that you have not clearly understood. Rule number seven. Rule number seven is feel free to request a rephrasal of a question that's unclear to you. Feel free to request a rephrasal or a repeat of a question that's unclear to you. Feel free to request a rephrasal or a repeat of a question that's unclear to you. Rule number eight. Apply voice modulation while speaking if you can. Apply voice modulation while speaking if you can. Apply voice modulation while speaking if you can. Next rule, that's rule number nine. Feel free to apply natural fillers while speaking, but do not overuse it. Feel free to apply natural fillers while speaking, but do not overuse it. Natural fillers. Yes, examples of natural fillers would be? Fillers. Yes, natural fillers. Feel free to apply natural Fillers. Why? While speaking, but do not overuse it. On the board, we have examples of natural fillers. That's when you are trying to remember what to say or trying to remember the right words to use. You are like, um, or, um, right? Feel free to use those natural fillers while speaking, but do not overuse them. Rule number 10. That's that's the Nigerian Okay, the way we call fillers. And the M is The English don't do M. Alright, rule number 10. Always articulate your points before speaking. Always articulate your points before speaking. Rule number 11. You are free to use non-verbal communication, but do not abuse it. You are free to use non-verbal communication, but do not abuse it. Rule number 12, the use of contractions while speaking is a proof of 
professionalism and high in-depth command of the language. The use of contractions is a proof of professionalism and high index of the command of English. The use of contraction while speaking is a proof of professionalism and high index of command of the language. So always use contraction. Is a proof of professionalism and high in-depth command of the language. Therefore, use it while speaking. So these are important rules in speaking text. But most importantly, don't sell or trade your confidence for anything. Confidence alone will help you to achieve anything you want to achieve during your speaking test. Confidence alone will help you to actually understand questions. Confidence will help you to articulate your points. Confidence will help you to ask for a repeat or repetition of questions that are there to you. Confidence will help you to speak without stuttering, right? Without stammering. So don't trade with your confidence for any 